Good morning. Sunday, June 30th, 2019, on the island of Pico. Looking at the sunrise, approximately 6.25 in the morning. Looking at the island of Swang George. I know I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. Swang George. That island is where my great great grandfather, Anton George Cunha, in Hawaii pronounced Kuna, C U N H A. That is where he immigrated from to the kingdom when he jumped ship as a teenager in the 1850s in Lahaina, Maui. Hitched a ride with a Kanaka crew in a va'a to Honolulu, Oahu. Sent for his fiancée a couple few years later in the early 1860s. The first pure Portuguese vahine in Hawaii. Before that it was all sailors and whalers. She is from this island of Pico. Her name is Mariana Loriana Gancalves. I have seen the spelling of Ginsalves, but I believe the correct spelling is Guncalves. Checked out a cemetery nearby, and there was a couple of Guncalves in there. Being that this is an island, a small island, with a presently a population of approximately only 13,000. It's good, uh, it's probably a good lucky guess that everybody that has the same last name, anybody who has the same last name on any of these small islands and small populations are more than likely related. That is our smart car right there. Anyway, their first born, their first born, Rita Constance Kuna, was the first pure Portuguese person born in the kingdom of Hawaii, a Hawaiian national before the illegal overthrow occurred in 1893. A citizen of the kingdom of non-Hawaiian ancestry. Of course, their first marriage, their, their marriage, rather, would have been the first pure Portuguese marriage as well, because before that, all the sailors and whalers that jumped ship married a Hawaiian Vahine, Kanaka Maole, Vahine. They got married at the top, Malka end of the Catholic Church at Fort Street Mall in the 1860s. Here we have some one to two hundred plus year old possibly older. Everything on this island is pretty much a couple hundred to a few hundred years old. So here we have some farm tools. Let's go take a look. Before that, it was all... Let me see. The 
population, I've been told, has dwindled on these islands because people are not making babies and uh, the young people are moving off the island for better opportunity, going to mainland Portugal, United States, and other places in the world to have more fun and more opportunity. But tourism is starting to uh, boom and take off in the past 20 years. Here's a plow. Some uh, wagon wheels, looks like. A lot of nice uh, stonework. These are volcanic islands just like Hawaii. This place reminds me of the Big Island. It's presently about 60 degrees right now. feels like about 60. It's kind of cool. And then uh, yesterday felt like about 80 in the daytime. Somewhere in the 60s right now. Anyway, maybe not exactly 60. Here's a cart of sorts. And uh, more stonework. Some sort of uh, mill, grinder, tools, axe, sickle, scrapers, grinding stones, sharpening stones, grinding stone, wheel. Getting my feet massaged by gravel right now. Early morning massage. Hitting all the pressure points. Tea. Green tea. Cheers. I've been told these houses right here are original. They've been renovated. The original lava stone and the walls. Everything here. It's pretty much original, totally renovated, brand new. So what they did was they power washed the old uh, rock, the old lava rock, and then they uh, filled in with cement and stuff. Let's go take a look at our laundry in the backyard hanging because there's a stone house back here. It's uh, original. People are sleeping right now, so I'm trying to be quiet. So that's original, what it looked like before they redid uh, these walls. There's our laundry, hanging them up old fashioned style. But that's what these walls looked like before they were done, before they were redone. I know, long video, yeah? And the sun's still not up yet. It's behind the, uh, let me see, it's behind the uh, eastern corner of uh, Song George, spelt uh, Sao, like S A O. Sao George, spelt J O R G E. There's a pavilion area with a bar back right there. Playground area for the children. Anyway, sorry for the long video. And that was a uh, Typical Catholic church that are found multiple churches throughout these islands, and they all pretty much look the same. This is John Quincy Adams reporting live.
obrigado.